Tom Scott told me to do that. I don't know. It makes me trustworthy or something. Let's get this thing going. We are just about a month away from the release of Gotham Knights. And with that has come a lot of uncertainty as some of the trailers have looked pretty decent and others have, well, not. But I'm a firm believer that you should not judge a video game before you've actually had a chance to get your hands on and play it. I do, however, believe it is totally fair to get pumped up and excited for a game as its release date approaches. And that's what I'm going to do here today. Despite all of that uncertainty and some of the negativity out there, I want to talk about five reasons that we should be excited for the release of Gotham Knights. Coming in at number five is the villains. In my opinion, Batman and the Bat Family have one of the best collections of rogues in the entire comics universe. And it looks like this game has picked some pretty good ones to use. We've seen a really cool preview with Mr. Freeze. We've seen an appearance from Clayface, which I'm really excited for. I think he's a super cool character. But the big one, the main focus of this game, the Court of Owls, is going to be featured. And that, to me, is ultra exciting. Ever since I read Scott Snyder's story that introduced the Court of Owls way back in the New 52, I have absolutely loved the idea of the court, this secret shadow organization that is pulling all the strings and really making Gotham whatever they want it to be. Oh, that is so cool. And yeah, the talents that go out and do all the dirty work and everything. So, so cool. And I am excited that it took really just about a decade for it to get into a video game. We don't have to wait any longer. I am excited for the court and all the other villains as well. Coming in at number four is No Batman. This one might come back to bite me because a lot of people have hypothesized that Batman will come back in this game. But for right now, we're going to assume that he doesn't. And I think the game's going to be better because of it. I love Batman. He's my favorite superhero. I loved the Arkham games, some of my favorite video games of all time. But I think we've reached a point now where we want to see Batman take a step to the side and let some other characters shine. We did see appearances from some of the other Bat Family members in the Arkham series, but not nearly to the extent that we should have, in my opinion, at least. And I'm really hoping that Gotham Knights finally does justice to those Bat Family members. We know we're gonna see Batgirl, Robin, Nightwing, Red Hood, maybe some more with DLC later, fingers crossed. And I'm excited to see them finally take center stage with no Batman to get in the way. As I said, I wouldn't be surprised if Batman came back in this game, even though he's supposed to be dead. I really hope he doesn't, though. I don't want him to overshadow these awesome characters that deserve the spotlight. If you're watching this, I'm dead. Coming in at number three are the new ways that we have to get around Gotham. I know, a lot of people are not too excited about some of the transportation techniques that the knights are gonna to use to get around. A lot of people have criticized Nightwing's hang glider. I've seen a lot of people criticize the magic spell thingy that Red Hood does. I can't remember what they call it. But despite all those criticisms, which I halfway agree with, I'm excited to get around Gotham a little bit differently than we did with Batman in the Arkham series. Again, I love the Arkham series gliding around Gotham and doing the, the zip line rush thing where you kind of shot off into the distance. That was fun. I loved it. But I think having new methods of getting around are going to make the game feel fresh and different, which I'm excited for. I'm really looking forward to trying out the Bat Cycle that Batgirl has. I'm hoping that has a different feel to it than the Batmobile did in Arkham Knight. I also think that Robin's boom tubes and how he can kind of teleport around is a really neat idea. So I'm excited for it. I understand some of the criticism. I'm trying to go into it with an open mind though, because I think those new forms of transportation, as I said, I think they'll make the game feel fresh, different, and hopefully good. Then at number two, we have the updated leveling system and skill trees. This is one of those things I think I'm gonna have to get my hands on to fully grasp and fully appreciate. 
But what we've seen so far, it looks like the skill trees in this game are gonna be different. They look a little bit more in depth to me than what we had in the Arkham series. And of course, on top of that, you're not just leveling one character, you're leveling up four characters. And I think that's gonna add a new dimension to this game that we didn't see in the Arkham series. It's a dimension that I think is gonna benefit the game. I think it's gonna add some new thought process, some new strategy that you have to use as you move through the game. I think it's gonna be cool. As I said, I'm gonna have to actually get my hands on it to see if I really like it or not, but I am excited to see what it's gonna be like. Then at number one, and I know that's a kind of a cop out, but the reason that we should all be excited for this game, the biggest one is we get to return to Gotham and play as some awesome characters. I know, I know it's kind of cheesy to say that, but we haven't had a game like this in what, seven years? Arkham Knight came out in 2015. We did have some of the Batman Telltale series, but they're not quite the same as this. And I think the fact that we get to play as the Bat Family again, we get to explore Gotham, we get to encounter some really neat villains. Just the fact that we have that opportunity is awesome. And to me, that's enough to be excited for this game. And with that, I think we'll wrap this video up. But let me know down in the comments, why are you excited for Gotham Knights? Or for that matter, why are you not excited for Gotham Knights? Let us know down below. While you're down there, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time.